we will now look at another example on how to calculate point price elasticity of demand for a non-linear curve let's look at an equation q is equal to 100 p to the power minus 1 we have to calculate the demand the price elasticity of demand for this equation so the the ed is equal to dq over dp into price over quantity so what is the dq over dp now as a power function rule you know that dq or dy over dx would be equal to for this function a n x minus 1 so if you plug in that a would be 100 and n n would be this this here minus 1 minus 1 and x is actually p and here it's minus 1 plus minus 1 so it will be minus 2 so here you will find that dq over dp would be actually so into price over quantity so dq over dp would be minus 100 p to the power minus 2 and p is p and q you can write it as 100 p to the power minus 1 so power minus 1 goes here so this would be cancelled and this would be cancelled so ed is actually equivalent to minus 1 now this is important to note note that in this equation you can find that in this equation that the elasticity of demand is not affected by any quantity or price it is actually always same it is a constant along the demand curve so this is an example for unitary elasticity of demand which would be a rectangular hyperbola which would approaches this would be the quantity demanded and price approaches the y axis when the quantity of demand equals to zero and approaches the x axis when the price is equals to zero so in this case along the demand curve the elasticity of demand will always be minus 1 so we can generalize this rule to when q is equal to alpha p to the mau minus n the elasticity of demand will always be minus n so we can generalize this rule this would be useful for your multiple choice questions for you to answer faster when there is a question when they give an actually demand equation and for you to find out the elasticity of demand this would be an easy way because you would know when there is a function similar to this you would know this ed is equal to minus n and you wouldn't waste any time calculating it so this is actually a non-linear demand curve and how we actually arrived using the point price elasticity equation to calculate the price elasticity of demand let's look at another example in our next video with actually a demand schedule and demand curve and how to actually calculate the point price elasticity of demand